Hello everyone, I'm Maloko Fs and I'm going to be catch, uh, casting a second matchup from the XKCD StarCraft 2 tournament number 2. This is going to be Cosmic Cosmo versus CSD. Uh, both are Platinum League players, so hopefully we'll see a good long drawn out match. And uh, in the top right here, our orange Zurich player is going to be Cosmic Cosmo. And on the other side, top left, we have our green Zerg CSD. Um, we're away. Our um, first scouting overlord is immediately going in the right direction. Uh, CSD guessing right where his opponent is going to be. So shortly he'll know uh, where to go with this early pressure. And Cosmic Cosmo is starting the wall off. Incoming is... Uh, income is of course, still even at first, and both players are just building workers. Here is uh, the f scouting SCV coming out. Seems to be going in the right direction, and there's a scouting drone as well. And they just waved on the way back, uh, crossing each other. And the SCV will find our Zurich player here. Taking a peek, will he do some harassment or just take a look and head back? Yes, the SCV probably is breathing a sigh of relief. He is allowed to go home. No, not just yet. He takes a little lap of the expansion that has come up already. While the Overlord now sees the wall off here. And the SCV decides to just take some pokes at the hatchery and actually goes back in, trying to get some tech going up. And we have our spawning pool here. Barracks, of course, for our turn player. Orbital Command is already almost finished. And we have the first Marines coming out for our turn player. And at this point, oh, after grabbing some minerals, our SCV is going back home and now finally actually breathing that sigh of relief. Our overlord is hanging out, keeping an eye on things. And we have a quick factory coming up. Will this mean that we will see some Hellion harassment coming up? And does our Zerg player know about this going up? No, he doesn't. So let's see if he can surprise our Zerg. He will probably need to put up some spine crawlers if he sees it coming. We have our first four Zerglings coming up. And they are moving out after destroying that poor native creature. But that is, of course, the way of the Zerg. Here we go. Moving up to check on the wall in. Overlord is still just hanging out. And yep, there's the wall and there's the marines to defend it. Is there any other tech coming up? Yeah, the speedling research is being done of course. Yeah. Do we actually have steam pack yet? Probably not. Nope. And we have the tech lab coming up. So is that going to be... It's going to be built here. Probably the siege tanks, but... That means... Oh, upgrades already. Still on the single barrack, so... Definitely not early harassment from our Terran player. And our Zerg is still just droning up in peace. Probably waiting for the speedling. Oh, here we go. Baneling Nest is coming up. And where is it? There it is. There it is. Let's see what else is going on. Is it come? Is it there we go. Our Terran player with the meals coming in. And who's spending the most? Well, here we go. Our Marines have taken up most of the army count. 
Let's take a look. We have a Thor already on the field. Uh, that may be a bit of a surprise. And, uh, did the Zerglings see that Thor? Or was it just the Hellion that did the job without him seeing? Our Overlord is going to spot this Thor. You will probably try to take it out. Our oh, and that would make... No, he's going to leave it alone. That would supply block our Zerg player, actually, if he killed it. But he decides to move in. Here come the Zerglings. No, they get back onto the creep. And here they go. Moving in, surrounding the Thor. Taking some damage. The Hellion is taking three pot shots at the Zerglings. And what happens? What happens? Oh, all the Zerglings die. Thor is almost dead, though. And there are a lot of Zerglings about to pop. That should be enough to take care of it, though. They are actually rallied inside, taking out the Hellion. And they will now take out. Yes, they will take out the Thor. Some surprising uh, play from our turn player, an early Thor. But our Zerg player being quite capable to withstand it. With some losses, actually. Uh, although the resources lost is fairly equal. So what do we see coming up? Another factory or two factories even coming up. So a mech-heavy strategy. More marines and upgrades for both vehicle and marines, infantry. A spire coming up and roaches coming up. Um, do we have any upgrades yet for our Zerg? Uh, no, uh, not even an evolution chamber. Some grid creep spreading though. Uh, that will give our Zerg player some advantage mobility. And it's some Zerglings coming in here, but that Thor apparently dealt with it quite handily. Still some Banelings morphing in here though, hiding beneath the bushes. And completely invisible. What are they going to do? Is the Thor going to attack them? No, they're leaving. And this does not bode well for our SCVs here. Some more Zerglings taking a look around. Are they just going to stand here and do nothing, or what will happen? Pneumatized carapace is being researched. We'll be maybe see seeing some baneling bombing going on later on. Let's f can't wait to find out. Heck, here we go. Expansion is out. Siege tank now too, finally. Do we have siege mode yet? No, not yet, but siege mode is being researched. And still, the Banelings are staying put in their little corner. And our Zerg player has the most vision right now. Uh, that Overlord is gone, but he has the Banelings here. And he's got both Zonanga Watchtowers. More upgrades for our, our Terran player, though. He's heavily upgrading, while our Zerg player is completely ignoring uh, upgrades. Just going purely for the units. We'll see how well that will work out. And this time, siege mode is almost ready. More tumors coming out, centrifugal hooks, so uh, bailing speed. And more mutas on the way. A bunch of bailings here. And he's killing the rocks to get a quicker route through his third expansion here. Here come the main links, moving in, completely catching the guy in the guard, and takes out a whole bunch of the SCVs. And Hellion scouting here. Let's see what happens. Both players taking a break from aggression, building up their forces. A nice mix of units here. Let's see. Army supply. 
we're doing good. Still a lot of in production for both players. And choosing to wait and build up their forces. More creep spread. Here come the Hellions taking a look. Are these blue flame Hellions just yet? Looks like it. And there come the Mutas. Mutas being revealed. And will our Hellions get away or no ones? They get taken out quickly. So what will happen now? Still both players waiting. Uh, CSD is supply blocked for a bit here. Still both players building up forces. Not a lot of production. Oh, here we go. He's removed to supply blocking and more mutas are coming up. You will probably need to start harassing soon though. Lots of aliens this time around. Setting the tree on fire. And... Killing that. Does he check for the expansion here? Yes, he does. And, ouch. Minus got there. He knows about the expansion now, but has to back up the other Hellions. Moving in and killing a lot. He chased by Minus, though. Looks like the Mutas will be able to take everything out now. Queen getting a couple of hits in, and that's all for the Hellions. And the Mutas are now going in for the Harass. Are we seeing turrets? Yes, we have a bunch of turrets defending the mirror line. It's going to be difficult to attack the main base. He's checking for the expansion here. Is the other expansion vulnerable? Also, quite protected with turrets, but yes, uh, this uh, wall off is now completely accessible and takes out a supply depot, but that will not supply block our uh, tank player. And Stim is now only being researched, and um, not a lot of production for our Zerg player, he's getting supply blocked again. So he will make a bunch of overlords and more and more zerglings. And yes, that is a lot of zerglings. Army value is pretty equal still. Now let's take a look at pure army supply. Yes, uh, a little bit of an advantage for our Zerg uh, player, but actually our Terra player has more supply in workers. That's quite interesting, actually. Usually you'd think we'd have our uh, Zerg player droning up a bit more with three expansions, but he seems to be... Oh, here come some drones, actually. And they're probably on their way to being transferred down below. And let's see. We have a whole stream of units moving out. Where are we going? Are we taking out the rocks? Where are we going? Well, these tanks are not sieged up though. They're just hanging out. And they might be vulnerable, but if he goes through the rocks, he will know what's coming and have time to siege up. Is that what's going to happen? Still no sieging up. Marines to scare away the Mutas here. And he retreats wisely. 